Hey, it's Remco here from Apollo Music Parts. In this video is going to show you the installation of our B and G bender on the Harley Benton Telecaster guitar. It's a beautiful guitar, roasted maple fingerboard, roasted maple neck, Roswell pickups. It's a beautiful guitar. So here we've got the box with the B and G bender. You open it up, you'll find a QR code. If you scan the QR code, it's not gonna get you to a COVID site. Nope. We'll get you to our webpage where you can see more videos of our products. And we've got the BNG bender without the edges or the bath top or the ashtray plate, just a flat plate. We put down an extra string retainer down there, string three, so the string will go further down. We got springs here that helps with the tuning, so when you tune it, the um, screw does not wiggle away. And then it comes with additional arms. So you've got the two straight arms, and then it comes with bent arms. Now we will set this a little bit of a mix for this one, so I'll show you what we do with it. Then we've got some extra screws, and some Velcron to put, to put under the arms to protect it from scratching on the um, on the scratch plate, and that's it. Right, put us all away. We're going to detune the guitar. So now before we install the pickup on this one on the BNG bending, we gotta undo the drop screw from the top or the screw from the top. And you gotta be careful because we've got ball bearings in here. So we're gonna take that one off gently. One and this one there as well. So we take that one off, put them on the side. So now we undo the Pick up. Are you sure we got the ground wire correct? Then you can use the same screws again that did provide it. Just to double check for the scale length, put on the rule on there, so it's 25 and a half. So I'm roughly there, and the rest we will sort out with intonation. Then we do a height adjustment of the saddles, just to make sure that the strings are well enough off the fingerboard before we do the tuning. Tune the guitar, E, A, D, without the G string, without the B string, and then we do the E string.
Okay, with this B and G bender, we've got a ball bearing, and then we've got straight arms, a ball bearing, and then you lock it up. Now, if you use the straight arms, I highly recommend actually that you take this screw out because it will just slide over, it will be in the way. You can also make a combination. So, put this arm on and the shorter arm. So, you can do it that way. Or, we make this combination ball bearing and a straight. So, either way, how you like it, you can set it up like that. I will go for this combination now so the arms are closer. Now, if you want to prevent some scratching on the scratch plate, we supply you with little Velcro stickies which you can just put under the arm. Put that one on there. Ball bearing, that one on. And put the arms there. So then get the B-string, put it through the hole, it up, and hook it in there, So, tune them to B, and to G. Now, I want to put the B string to C sharp. To achieve that, just first stretch the string a little bit. Turn the wheel. And that's how it's done. Now you've got the B and G bender installed. 